Authenticating user through a remote server such as the radio server or LDAP server is fundamental on any firewall. Now I'm using Jump Cloud Radius as a server and I have already created the user groups. Let's just take a look at the user groups and some users that are on that user group. We will configure the radio server on our FortiGate. We will configure the user group to be authenticated on our policy and we will look at how it all happens on our Ubuntu device. So let's start. So we have a fairly simple topology. We have our LAN interface. We have our WAN interface. The very first thing you need to do is to head over to users and device. And here we will configure our radius server. So just create a new radius server. My radius server, as you just saw, is called home server. Now you need to enter the IP address of that server. That's the IP address of Jump Cloud servers in Europe. Now the shared secret key is between our FortiGate and the radio server. This is something that you configure on your radio server. So let's just write it down and let's test connectivity. All right, so it's successful. We initiated and configured the radio server. Now you can move to um, config user radius. Sorry for that. User radius. Let's just add it home server and let's use the show full config. Here we get the information of our server. We haven't uh, created the bind to the uh, user group. We will do it very soon. But one thing that you should note is that if you're using another uh, radio server that is not using port 1812 as most radio servers use, you can actually set the radio port to something else. Zero by default is 1812. All right. Now let's create the user group, create new user group. Let's name our user group admins. That's the same group that we have on our remote server. Let's add it from home server and let's apply. Now the third thing, apply that to your policy. Let's add up our user group admins. Okay, so we finished our FortiGate configuration. That's a very basic radius configuration. And now let's move to our Ubuntu device. Let's open up Firefox. Now, it's, you see that the, the there's a prompt that says that you must log into the network before you can access the network itself. So let's open up the network login. You can see that your FortiGate actually listens at port 1000. TCP port 1000 is used by your FortiGate to listen to interfaces that has policy with authentication on them. All right, so let's just, I'm a user. That's my username. Um, that's the password continue and here we have it 